welcome to the London Feed, the series where we show you some of the most exciting food and drink spots the capital has to offer. Today we are in West London at Mestizo, where we are going to be trying some of the best Mexican restaurant in town, or so we've been told, and we're going to get taught how to make the ultimate margarita. So we are behind the bar now with Aima, who is going to show us how to make the ultimate margarita. I feel like everyone thinks they know how to make it, but perhaps not. Are you a margarita drinker? So I'm not because I've, I've never been able to drink it because I am allergic to oranges and most have triple sec in. So today okay. I'm finally getting a chance to try one. We're going to do a Tommy's for you, aren't we today? Yes. Okay. The Tommy's is more of a classic. It's like one of the classics. A guy called Julio Bermejo, I believe, some tequila expert in America. <laughs> Um, he invented it, so it's very simple, very okay. straightforward, has no triple sec, focuses more on the agave, so it is a bit sweeter, but it, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely, it's a really lovely margarita variation. Quick so, yeah, to make. Very, yeah. actually, bosh yeah. that out, smash that out. And do you yeah. find people usually just go for the simple ones, or do they come in and kind of look through the menu and think, oh, I want to try something I definitely couldn't make myself at home? Yeah, like, because the menu's so vast, and it's always growing and it's always expanding. People like the fact that there are some quite um, interesting options on there. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, people will definitely go for the interesting options. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking mental notes so that I can take yeah. this home and make right it myself. Then. We're going to start. I need to give you a, your tequila. You want to go first? Okay? Oh, free pouring tequila. Oh, well, no, 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 be no, careful. No, 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 no. Be <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm okay. very excited then. Right, so gonna put one of those of tequila in there. In okay. the little one. Literally yeah. to the, to the okay. top. To the top. <laughs> Oh, whoopsie. Yeah, no, A little extra did. went in. You're good, you're good. That's allowed though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put in 25 of that. Okay, and what so have we got here? Juice. This is so pure. There aren't any bits in there or anything. No. How have you done this? We just strain it, mate. Just strain it? Yeah. Okay, so as simple as that, just strain it. Good quality everything. Like, that was one of the most important things for me for this bar, right? So this is Aragave, okay. which as we know, native to Mexico. So. And this is? syrup it's, it's the sweetener and that is the key is component the in the okay. tummies okay oh okay so it's not as glutinous as honey Ooh. and then the same for you my lovely perfect you what we do now is i'm just going to show you here and i'm going to give you a go the shaking and the dilution process is the most important part of any cocktail so it's very important the amount of ice and the type of ice okay and how you shake it okay, and now the key is you've got to shake it with a bit of welly right okay so you've got to put it back into it okay so flip that open Oh, that's right. Make sure that your hand is holding both parts so it doesn't fly off in anybody's okay. face. Okay. Okay, and then we give it a shake. So find Where's a Where's the other hand? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, go. One. Stop. Okay, when you crack it open. Okay, I'll try that as well. Oh, come on, Essie. Very nice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, nice, make it nice. Oh, cool. Well. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Garnish. Okay, and then what are we putting on top? That's a bit wild ice. So. <laughs> <Very nice. laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, okay, I mean that looks lovely. Beautiful. And what was that? Like I would say three to four minutes we've yeah, made that. That was not yeah. so when now. When you know it, you can smash that out in a minute. No problem. <laughs> Go on then, we need to try. I mean, it. We'll try. We need to try, yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Salut. Oh, salut. Salut. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay. So for anyone that loves a margarita, <laughs> This is very sweet in comparison to what you wouldn't typically be used to, right? Yeah. As someone who doesn't drink my I, I like a sweet, I like a sweet cocktail. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this. Yeah, so now I need to now, now I can drink margaritas. I'll be, here, I'll be here next mm, Friday. Please. Which on the menu is the most popular margarita do you find? Which one does everybody order? You know what? It's really quite varied because there's so many of them. It would be hard to say. I would probably imagine the classic is the one that smashes it. Like mm -hmm. we make we make hundreds of those and the spicy one, the jalapeno. Ooh. So I make a jalapeno margarita, but it is the devil's hellfire. Oh gosh, you feel the, you feel the burn going down as it you have it? Spicy. Yeah, you like I that one, I made it as a deliberate you? challenge because I can eat, I can eat a habanero whole. Oh. I am invincible. So I was like, I'm gonna make a cocktail that's gonna challenge the population and okay. it is spicy. So I invite people to come down and, and accept the challenge okay. because it is like people, you get sent back, at least three come back and I, oh, really? yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. How have you seen sort of like the Mexican culture in London change? I mean, I know that's quite a loaded question, but what was it like 10 years ago? Mexican culture is 
currently very fashionable mm. in London or England in general, I would say attitudes towards our culture have changed. Mm. The best thing about this particular restaurant, I would say, is the fact that it's Mexican owned mm -hmm. um, and most of the staff are Mexican, the chefs are Mexican. Like, it is basically like coming into Little Mexico. We are super proud of our culture. We, we represent our culture very strongly here. And when you come through the door, because this is like a family business, then you get treated in that same way. In Mexico, yeah. family first, you know, mm -hmm. family above everything. Well, I think it's time we take our drinks and see what's coming out of the kitchen. Oh, well, thank, you. Thank, thank you. you so thank you so much. much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'm so excited to try the food. Time. I know, I'm a big Mexican food fan, so yeah. I'm really looking forward to this, actually. Me too. I'm very interested to try things that I haven't typically had before. Thank you, Juan. Looks delicious. Tell us what we've got. Yeah. Okay, in the first plate, uh, we have the flautas. Mm -hmm. It's uh, with potato. We have the green sauce, lettuce, and the feta cheese on the top. Okay. It's a very nice plate. In the second one, we have the ceviche verde mm, with sea bass. It's basically with the tortillas and the orange size in the top. This plate is a, a baja shrimp tacos. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice taco you have with the chew, chipotle mayo and the sour cream. Amazing. And this one is my favorite. That looks amazing. Yes, yes this one is my favorite. This one is the molcajete. Okay. You have the chicken and beef inside. A chorizo, you have the a onion, cactus, a cheese and the red sauce. It's Incredible. One okay, of your favorites. It's a very that. nice. Have a look. Okay, we're going to get started. Thank, Thank you. you. You're so welcome. Happy. These are talking to me. Let's dive in with these. I yeah. literally can't hold myself back. They look great. So <laughs> these are tacos with shrimp inside. Delicious looking. And two different it's sauces. Like shrimp. And I'm then going to try this one first, I think. Mm -hmm. Really nice, like lots of veg as well as the very lightly fried. Um, Mm. prawn shrimp that's in there yeah and this is really good it makes it it gives it's not too juicy you know sometimes when you eat these and everything's sort of yeah dribbling everywhere these sauces are really nice with it yeah. i really like that i think it's a starter or main mm. yeah definitely okay this one it's got orange in it which is unusual i think for a ceviche so there's orange and green sauce avocado and obviously the raw fish mm -hmm. Thumbs up. So there's a little bit of a spice and quite citrusy. So the orange kind of sets it off quite nicely. Cuts through it. Yep. Amazing. Very nice. While you enjoy that, mm. I'm going to move on to this big old boy. Chorizo on the top. Say it the right way, Tan. Chorizo. 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 Um, so we'll have a bit of that. Lots of cheese. Uh, I think there's some beef in there as well. And also, they said that there's some cactus, which I wonder if there's that Ooh. green bit on the corner there. Do you want to try that? Oh, oh, I do. Go on. Come on. They do this. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. Just as you would see it on the cactus, but. Oh. <laughs> and I wonder what this big white thing is here. What's that? I'm gonna have a. Oh, I, I think it must be onion. Oh. Ooh. Oh, this is the spring onion. It's a huge. Oh my spring gosh, onion. that is the most gigantic spring onion I've, I've ever never seen. seen a spring Look onion. at the stalk on this. <gasps> Look at this. I don't know which way I should have gone with Keep it. Keep going. Wow. Oh my gosh. That looks amazing. Okay, we need amazing. to try and cut into this. Okay, top at the bottom, but I think that's I think that's expected. Yep, yeah, sure. Okay. Mm. Oh wow, that's mm -hmm. really good. That tomato sauce mm. really brings it all together. Big thumbs up on this one. I think that's really nice to share, isn't it? Mm. Have that in the table. If there's a few of you, you can order that. You get um, a full a full pouch of tortillas kept warm in there. Um, yeah. And I think it's a really nice thing to come and have and just share with the group. Okay, we have what's next? Left. Oh, of course, right. I'll bring this over here. So this is basically potato and cheese. Okay, I'm All the great straw. things in there, there you go. You see this on lots of sort of traditional Mexican menus. Quite crispy uh, on the inside and on the outside. And then we've got gr the green sauce, feta and lettuce. That's like proper comfort food. Yeah. You come here, here's potato and cheese, which is obviously a winner always. Yeah. But then it's got this like very light green sauce on the top, not spicy like the green sauce in the ceviche and the lettuce. Makes it feel a bit healthier. 
<laughs> there are also other options with these, I think. You can have meat or fish in them. I need to check the menu, but this was obviously a good vegetarian option. Mm -hmm. I think with a place like this, what's nice is trying lots of different things. Yeah. Who would you bring with you if you came back? I would bring a group of friends. Yeah. Because I think, uh, especially of like an evening, knowing what kind of cocktails that bar can pump out as well, I think it would be really fun to have like lots of like picky bits, and then just loads of delicious margaritas. Yeah, for sure. That's what I would like to do on like, I'd say like a Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great, great idea. I think I'd be the same. I think I've got lots of friends that don't live in the city that, you know, come to me with recommendations for different places to try when they come up to London for the weekend. I think this would be a great place to be able to say, you know, it's in a great part of London, there's loads to do around here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, let's have a look at the menu. I mean, it's huge. Oh yeah, prices. Just price-wise, I mean, look, we are in West London, we're in Chelsea, we're on the King's Road. Even well, arguably the having, most expensive part of London. Yeah, without even looking at the menu, I think there's an expectation, at least from me here, that this is going to be a bit on the pricier side. Yeah. So yeah, I think this would be like a treat. I think yeah. when you start having all of the, ordering all the different bits, and also then getting started on the uh, on the on, on the, the drinks, which you have to do. That's when it starts adding up. Well, there you have it. That's uh, our review of Mestizo. It has been absolutely delicious. Um, if you have anywhere else that you would like us to try anywhere across London, then please comment uh, below or send us a message, and we will do the arduous job of going and checking it out for you. <laughs> it's a tough life. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss another video. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.